what up, UHS, and welcome to your BDTV announcements. I'm Alex Blancado. And I'm Will Oleg. Congratulations to the winners of the Distinguished Teacher of the Year Awards. The Above and Beyond Award, Mrs. Nicole Shimoni. The Robert L. and Linda J. Foos Memorial Award, Mr. Andrew Buckner. The WHS Distinguished Teacher of the Year Award, Mrs. Marie Trepla. And the PTSO Distinguished Teacher of the Year Award, Mrs. Molly Dennis. Congratulations and thank you for all that you do. Congratulations to April's PE Warriors. They are seniors Andrew Cunningham and Emily Clagg, juniors John Gonzalez and Ella Johnson, and freshmen Rob Messenger and Grace Lisnock. Congratulations. The Treat People with Kindness Club is holding one last drive for this school year. A food drive will be held from May 14th to June 14th, and students can drop off canned and non-perishable food items to room 249. There are also other drop-off locations outside of the school. See the posters for details. The goal is to collect 2,021 items in honor of the 2021 seniors. Contact Alexa Casiba with any questions, and remember to always treat people with kindness. Attention art students. Many works of art are left over from the 2019 to 2020 school year. If you would like to pick up your artwork from last year, please email your art teacher from last year directly to schedule a pickup date and time. If you had Mr. Chambers for graphic design last year and want to pick up artwork, please email Dr. Ruggeri instead. Any artwork not picked up by tomorrow will be discarded. On Sunday, May 23rd, the Overlook Hospital Junior Board is hosting a fundraiser at Chipotle to raise money to purchase gifts for cancer patients. The event will take place from 5 to 9 p.m. at the Chipotle on East Broad Street. All you have to do is say that you are with the Overlook Oncology Fundraiser before purchasing your food to make sure that a portion of your purchase goes towards the cause. Share the word and attend if you can. Refer to Natalie Manzo's Instagram account, at Natalie C. Manzo, for more information and how you can help. The WHS Community Service Club is looking for volunteers for the Westfield Police Department's town-wide food drive. The drive will be held on Saturday, May 22nd from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. at WHS. Volunteers will help unload the donations from cars and sort through them. Even if you cannot attend the whole time, any portion is appreciated. Volunteers will receive certificates for their hours through the WHS Community Service Club. Sign up now at bit.ly slash food drive signups. There will be an informational and sign-up meeting for those interested in trying out for the girls' volleyball team on Monday, May 24th at 7 p.m. All interested should attend with a parent. To find the link for the WebEx meeting, go to the Westfield Athletics website. There will be a girls' cross-country information meeting for the fall season on Tuesday, May 25th at 7 p.m. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Berardi or stop by room 266. Now we go to Pat Cunningham with the rest of your weekly announcements. Pat? Good morning. This is a message for all juniors. You will receive a senior sweatshirt in September at the start of your senior year. It will not cost you anything as it is a gift from the PTSO. You should have received an email giving you a chance to choose the size of the sweatshirt. Please fill out the form today. It will take you 30 seconds. Back to you guys in the studio. As we pass the halfway point for our final marking period of the year, athletics continues to bring in victories for our Blue Devil community. We go to Gabby Zipioni for this week's sports report. Congratulations to the boys' golf team in winning the NJSIAA Tournament of Champions on Wednesday, with the team shooting a combined score of 283, with Colin Summers shooting a 63, the best out of everyone there. Congratulations again. Now, to the rest of the sports this week. On Monday, boys' volleyball lost 2-0 to Elizabeth. Boys' tennis won 3-2 against Summit. Softball beat Cranford 8-0. Girls across beat New Prov in the quarterfinal round of the Union County Tournament 15-9. On Tuesday, baseball lost to East Brunswick 6-4. On Wednesday, boys tennis beat Scotch Plains Fanwood 4-1. Softball beat Rawway in the first round of the Union County Tournament 11-0. Girls across lost a close one 6-5 against Summit in the semifinal round of the Union County Tournament. Baseball beat Scotch Plains Fanwood 8-7 in the 10th inning with the Dylan Berger walk-off in the quarterfinal round of the 2021 Union County Tournament. With the win, congratulations to the head coach of the baseball team, Bob Brewster, in becoming the all-time winningest coach in Union County with 652 wins. On Thursday, baseball plays Union at 4. Boys volleyball plays Vernon at 4.30. Boys lacrosse 
plays Scotch Plains Fanwood in the semifinal round of the Union County Tournament at 5.30 at ALJ, and if they win, they would play in the finals on Saturday. On Friday, softball plays Beerley in the quarterfinal round of the Union County Tournament at 4. Boys Tennis plays New Providence at 4. On Saturday, Boys Tennis plays Montclair in the first round of the Brian Bennett Invitational. Softball plays Roselle Park at 10. And on Sunday, baseball plays Cranford in the semifinal round of the 2021 Union County Tournament. Check back next week, Blue Devils. Although this year has been a rough year for ACT prep, WHS still has our fair share of perfect scores. Luke Berry tells us more. Every year, ACT and SAT exams are the focus of juniors and seniors at WHS. This year, 11 students scored perfectly on sections of the ACT exam. Seniors Emma Jepson and Sean Hazard received perfect scores on the English and Math sections respectively. And juniors Justin Anderson, Carson Sharkey, Kaiyang Zhu, Vivian Jekyll, Matteo Beltran, Patrick Gallagher, Catherine Miles, Jacob Root, and Evan Tompkins all finished with perfect scores on various sections. Here at BDTV, we wanted to give a quick shout out to these amazing students who finished with perfect scores. That's all. Back to the studio. Ever since the closing of Rita's, Westfield has been lacking Italian ice despite its variety of ice cream shops and creameries. Ralph's famous Italian ice was recently opened on the corner of Central and Park as a delicious addition to our ice cream selections. Pat Cunningham has the inside scoop on the opening of Westfield's newest frozen treat shop. It has been two weeks since Ralph's famous Italian ices and ice cream shop opened up and people can't get enough of it. These ices are making everyone go crazy with lines outside the shop pouring onto the street. They have ice cream, water ices, and their all new Donato. I for one think the rainbow ice is my favorite order to get. The shop was originally supposed to open up last year but has since reopened on May 1st. It is a great place to go grab some ices on a nice summer day from 12pm to 10pm and will be a great new attraction for Westfield residents. That'll be all for us this week. If you know of a breaking story you want us to know about, send us an email at whsbluedevilTV at gmail.com. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at whsbdtv. See you next week, WHS, and have a wonderful week.